Today is Simple Saturday on my YouTube channel, and I am trying to provide you on Saturdays with a quick and easy project. Today we're going to work with our catch paper or our leftover paper from projects and create a magnet that we can utilize to display some of the things in our studio that we like. I call my channel 2 Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. As always, my game here is to try and provide videos that are 15 minutes or less and create content that is valuable to you. So I purchased these landscape little pieces of glass, landscape glass. I'm not sure exactly what they call them, but I'm sure you're familiar with them. You can pick them up at the dollar store. Any of the craft stores have them in the floral section. And that's where I found mine, was in the floral section. As I sort through these, there are some that are murky white in background and some that are very clear. I'm trying to find clear items to utilize to magnify and illuminate pieces or sections of the craft paper that I have discarded. So let me pull out my file folder of all of my gel press prints that I have either not utilized, they've been the first pull, the last pull, or just weren't chosen for the project that I was working on. And I have quite a little array here, different colors, different styles, different um, markings, if you will. And I am just trying them out underneath that piece of glass to see what looks best. Now, this is a dendritic print from our Technique Tuesday video, which I'll link up above. And I believe that these are going to work the best because they have enough of the white showing in the paper that it really illuminates the color. The words also look well, but there's just, there's not enough color in there and I decide not to use one of those. I do set it aside. So I'm still kind of picking through, seeing what I have. I think a book page would also look good. You just need to, to get yourself one of these little um, landscape rocks and put them over what you have. That's a letter my dad wrote to my mother in the 1940s, or a copy of the letter my dad wrote to my mother in the 1940s. So I'm choosing the dendritic prints because to me, I think they look better than anything else. So let's just kind of make our choices and get started on getting these put together. So I have all the dendritic prints sorted out. I'm going to draw around that landscape rock and just simply cut that shape out. And I want it to be slightly smaller than the flat surface of the back of that landscape rock. Taking my art glitter glue because it dries clear and I'm putting a coat over the top of the print. I'll just smush that uh, rock down on top of it. Make sure that everything is sticking and that I don't have any overhang. And we'll set that aside to dry. And we'll do that two or three times just to, to further illustrate what we're doing here. I'm just taking a baby wipe and wiping off my fingerprints off the top of it. I'll do the same on the next little dendritic print. And once again, that, that dendritic printing was a Technique Tuesday. I linked it in the previous frame, and I will also link it in the description below on how you do that. That was done with two sheets of glass and just kind of creating those branches or those dendrites by putting the two pieces of glass together. That's another very simple project and you could do the whole thing together in one simple Saturday project. So we have all of them cut out, put together, glued onto the back, and now it is time to think about what type of magnetic piece we're going to use on the back. Now there's a couple of things that you could do to these. These would look really good glued onto a clothespin. Um, you could use them in that manner. 
I chose to put these little teeny tiny magnets on the back. So they, they were the focal point of the landscape rock was the focal point. But don't you think these would make great little gifts or little stocking stuffers if you put them in little sets of three and package them? And I think that in a future video, we'll do a little box that we can package these in for a holiday gift or a birthday gift or just a thank you gift of some sort. But I think they turned out pretty nice. They are illuminated. That dendritic print is illuminated by that landscape rock. They make a great looking little magnet for your refrigerator or file cabinet. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy project. Take a moment and hop over to my Facebook group and share with me pictures of what you've created. I would love to see how you interpret this little magnet. And once again, my YouTube channel is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. I really appreciate you being here. I love to see your comments and those thumbs up do dramatically help my channel. So thank you so much. Bye for now.